All right, is everybody ready for Louie, I told you so time? Today, we're going to have a letter from my friend Chris. Look, this is my playmat holder. I forgot to show you guys. We're going to talk about counterfeit playmats. I've got a, a, a package from my friend Chris, and I've got a letter from him too. Let me show you. Uh, Chris got a counterfeit uh, tunic, or we think it's a counterfeit tunic man. But this is why I store my playmats in. I thought it would be a, a good time to show you. I use um, uh, GameNetic. Uh, they hold two play mats, which is why I use them, uh, because it's just easier. So, uh, here's what happened. Chris bought a spring tunic play mat. Now, this is my spring tunic play mat. And we are going to compare Chris's spring tunic play mat to mine. Because uh, one of the things I always get from people is, Louie, uh, why are you investing in... I'm not investing. I just really like the play mats. But why are you spending $600 on a play mat? Uh, if they can just, like, make fake ones, and it's super easy to make fake playmats. Uh, so then Chris took my advice, and he uh, purchased himself a playmat, and uh, then he was like, hey, man, I don't think this is real. I was like, oh, gosh, here we go. And he was like, yeah, I just don't think it's real. And so, uh, you know, we, we kind of shared photos, and I agree, based on just the photos. Um, so that's what we're going to look at. You know, I haven't seen this in real life. Uh, I wanted to make sure I... I documented opening his box on camera uh, to not confuse the two playmats. So, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at it. Here's a, here's, uh, we'll take a look and then we'll read a letter from Chris. So this is my playmat and now we have, oh, see it's upside down. You know what I mean? Like there's no way that's real, it's upside down. No, now we have Chris's playmat, all right? So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna see uh, if we can spot the differences and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But let's read from Chris. Uh, Louis, I, I wrote this letter as enclosed. I can't, I don't have a printer here set up, so I have to just read it. You guys want to see the email? No, his, his email address is not. Um, first off, the seller said that he was going to take care of this. He's already agreed. Uh, so I'm going to send him back this play mat and we'll return it. Uh, the seller's already, you know, it wasn't something like Fugazi where, sorry, that was a Rudy term. It wasn't something stupid where, uh, you know, uh, the, the seller's kind of claiming that it's real or whatever. The seller maybe didn't know. Uh, and so he is returning it. Um, and here's what Chris says. I've been doing a lot of research the past few days, talking to a lot of people. And so far, this is the only man I know that has been targeted. In my opinion, uh, that we won't see counterfeit copies of things like the Enlightened Strike because it is so much more rare and it's so much easier. Like the Enlightened Strike, the Mask of Momentum, and Bittering Thorns. Uh, but a mat like Tunic and Toma Fiendo, Sigil Solace, those have an estimated print run of around 600 uh, they are easier to counterfeit because it's hard to track them all down. So uh, that that's kind of what we're conversation, and I can already tell based on uh, based on my playmat. Let's see, uh, you see how much darker his is? Like just go like that. You see how much darker it is? I mean, it's it's blatantly obvious um, that that this playmat was not the same print that it is darker. And that's what I'm going to say is that if you have a trusted source, and now you're asking me, okay, Louis, uh, how do you know your playmat's not fake? Well, a, I have a very trusted source for my playmat, which is really important. And Chris, uh, Chris did not have as trusted of a source. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. But there are very, very easily uh, distinguishing marks as well. And I have asked around to some other people that have a playmat. And for the spring tunic one particularly, uh, that is the the way that the mouth goes, this line going through the mouth. And you can see on the fake one, let's zoom in here for you. On the fake one, you see how the, the line goes above the mouth? And on the, the real one, it is... It is accurately portrayed. And you can just tell. I mean, see how much darker this is? I mean, it's unbelievable how much darker that is. All right, so that's one thing. If you have a tunic mat, uh, it's obvious to tell because your, your line's going to go through the mat mouth on a real one. All right, but let's talk about non-tunic mats, kind of the, the other things that we see. Um, and that is this. Uh, the biggest thing I think that I see on play mats is the Flesh and Blood logo is incredibly hard uh, to do right. And let's talk about the Flesh and Blood logo for a second. Uh, so here we go. So this is the Flesh and Blood logo on the fake map. Uh, and what you'll notice is that it is, of course, shaded, right? You see that the fake one is shaded. All right, now here is the real map. You see how obvious that is? And now you're like, but Louie, how do you know yours isn't shaded? Well, I have an E-Strike mat that Legend Story Studios themselves sent me, and it is not shaded. Okay? And I, I've looked on all my other playmats, and none of them are shaded. So if you ever see a playmat that has a shaded 
uh, flesh and blood logo, that is a telltale sign that it is fake. Um, now the other thing is obviously you can compare them to a real mat. And yeah, I think they did do some intentional things here. Like you can see on this, that this is kind of blue and this is the, you know, the, the person who faked this probably downloaded it from Legend Story Studios. And uh, you can just kind of tell that, you know, this is blue and this has no blue. And so maybe that's part of it. Maybe they just used the wrong one. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you could also measure the distance. If you see on mine, uh, can you see all the way over there? Probably not. So over here, you can see this is the Enlightened Strike mat. This is the real tunic mat. And you can see this lines up perfectly. So if you had a, an authentic mat that you knew, you know, you got it from your LGS or whatever, you could always line that up. And then are you ready? Line up this one. It won't line up. It's going to be too low. So there are ways. The point here is that there are ways to tell uh, that there are fake play mats. And it's also smaller. You can't really tell that from the video you can't if you're holding it in your hand it's really really obvious you want me to go above let's do the uh the top down camera ready Shoosh. boom see you see how this play mat is slightly smaller um so there are ways to tell if a play mat is fake and that's going to be super important because we are going to see more and more fake play mats as time tells and as the as the uh, the world spins and as playmats become more and more expensive because people start understanding how rare they are, man, you can really tell the difference there. Man, look at that. I mean, look at the the darkness. You know what they did? There's like a. No, I'm not gonna say it. I know exactly what they did. Uh, anyway, this is super dark. Even the middle, the colors are all wrong. I mean, it's super obvious. Look how much zoomed in. It's just. The, you know, the thing is, you can get the artwork for for the spring tunic. You can get the, you know, you can get the thing and you can get, you know, all the play zones. But you can't perfectly acquire the, the amount of zoom that's required to do this right. And, you know, see the zoom on that? And then it's just, this one is too zoomed in. You know, so you can never get them perfect. And that's the important part to understand. Now let's talk about texture and quality. You know, honestly... Let's see. Honestly, they look pretty similar. I mean, the quality is pretty similar, um, but it's pretty easy to spot a fake. And I think this is going to be important as, you know, Legend Story Studios has said that LGSs are allowed to ban you or, or disqualify you from any zone if you're using fake playmats. So it's really, really important that you do your homework so you don't get accidentally get banned uh, and that you know what you're talking about because uh, there are a lot of fake playmats going around. And so just be careful. Remember uh, to do your homework. Remember to find a trusted seller. You know, I, I found a really trusted seller for this. That I, You know, I even asked him, hey, where did you get it from? And it was another trusted seller who actually won it. And so we were able to track it back to the original owner. And, you know, and then you, you got to always, I'm glad that Chris bought it from somebody who's going to refund them uh, and allow him to return it because that's really important. And I know he was super, it's kind of a bummer. He was super excited to get this mat. So if you have one, let's try to get, get him a mat. You know what I mean? Let's try to get him the wrong. Reach out to me, shoot me a message. I'll get you connected to him and he, uh, he'll purchase it. I'm sure he's paying, you know, the the, the, the going rate. So anyway, uh, that's that's that. We're talking about play mats. And, uh, you know, I really believe that these are as easy to tell a fake or not as like a card. And, you know, we, I'm working on trying to find some ways to, um, I found some ways to kind of figure out, uh, some special stuff about the flesh and blood cards. Uh, and we'll, we'll see as we go on when we reveal that stuff, because I think that'll be important too. Like you can even tell up here that this is wider. Like they didn't even get this right. So anyway, hope you all have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you and play mats are super, super investable in my opinion. I mean, I think it's not about investment. It's about how cool it looks. Like, how, look how beautiful that is. Get the, get the fake one out of here. Look how beautiful the real one is. You want to see it bigger? Like, oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. It's just so good looking. You know what I mean? Like, that's just a good looking play mat. Hey, if you're really looking for play mats and you don't want to spend $600 on one, CavDanesMarket.com. I've got my my, uh, my play mats. And I mean, you, this is just as good quality, too. Um, but you can't fake these guys. Come on. It, the amount of things that would have to be perfect to fake them are just too, too hard. So anyway, have a great day. Remember, be kind to the people around you.